Hey guys, and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So today we're in Photoshop, and I'm going to show you a really cool technique that you can use to blend or fade two images together. Uh, so we have two separate images in this example here, one of a dog, and then another of a landscape of a grassy field with a bird on top of a fence here. And we're going to try to merge these together to get a really cool and unique look. Uh, obviously, there are many cases that you would want to use this, uh, and you can just play around with it and then adjust the settings and see what you come up with. So let's jump into it. So the first thing you need to do obviously is have the two images imported into Photoshop. So we have our landscape image here and then we have our dog image here. Now I do have him on a transparent background so if you have it on a white or a colored background you do want to remove that background. It does make it look much better unless you're doing like two landscapes together and then in that case you may not want to remove anything. Uh, so once we have our image here and then we also have our landscape image we want to select this image. So you can do that a number of ways. You can select your rectangle marquee tool. You can select him in a rectangle however you want to do that but in my case I'm just going to select the selection tool and then click and hold and then drag him over by hovering over the other image and then let go this will then place that dog image on top of my landscape image now obviously I'm going to want to minimize or make that image smaller so I'll select that image go to edit and then free transform and you probably will not have to do this depending on the file size of your image so once we have the overlay image or the image that we want on top to the size that we want it we're good to go so I'm going to zoom on back in now so the first thing you need to do obviously is to double click on your background image which is your landscape to make sure that the layer is unlocked so go ahead and do that now over here in the layers panel so once we've done that what I want you to do is make sure that your layer one, which is the top layer, which in my case is the dog, is selected and make sure it's on top of your landscape. Now, you don't really have to put this where you want it right now. We can always adjust it once we've added the effects. So all we have to do now is select that topmost layer and then go down here to where you see this little button here. We're going to add a vector mask. OK, so we're going to do that. It's going to add a layer mask, which is going to be in turn a vector mask. And then what we're going to do is grab our gradient tool. So go over to our toolbar, select our gradient tool and then open up the gradient editor by clicking on the gradient tool in the upper left hand corner. Now you're going to want to create a gradient that goes from black to transparent. So you're going to want something that looks like this something that goes from a black to a blank or transparent this is going to give us the achieved effect that we do want so once you've done that black to transparent if you need to know how to do that click on this little guy here go to color here in the drop down menu and go to background that will make sure that it is indeed transparent and then hit OK now that we have our gradient tool selected we're going to want to adjust and do some strokes to make it get the desired effect that we want so I'm gonna go ahead and go and do this here and as you can see the image on top is beginning to fade or merge into the other one. Now, depending upon the effect that we want, you're going to want to come from all different angles. Now, the effect that I'm going to try to achieve here is to kind of leave everything except for this eye here of the dog to kind of be faded into that other image to kind of give it a really cool look, I think, in return. So once we get the fade image the way we want it, we'll select our selection tool and then go ahead and drag the image wherever you want it on top of the other image. Now, we can go up to edit, free transform and we can even go here and shift click and make sure that we're adjusting the size proportionately and then we can make it larger or smaller depending on what we want to do now I really like the effect that I achieved here by the background and then also this eye going over here being the the forefront of the image so you can play around with this see kind of what types of effects you can get and then if you really want to get fun you can go over to that specific layer and you can even adjust the opacity so if we go over here we can even select the opacity slider and we can adjust that to even reduce the opacity to kind of get even a more faded look with that image so anyways guys I hope this helped you out I hope this was a fun tutorial if it was don't forget to sub subscribe to my channel don't forget to slap that like button down below and don't forget to share with your friends and family and as always guys thank you so so much for watching my videos as it does help me out and I will see you guys in the next one